Welcome back, friends. This is M-Dog. Let me ask you a question. Did you enjoy 2022's massive hit, Vampire Survivors? If you did, then you owe it to yourself to smash the like button on this video as well as smash the buy button on the video game that I'm about to show you. But before we get to the new game, let me ask you this. Why was the potato taken to a psychiatric hospital? I know you're searching for the answer. Let me go ahead and help you a little bit. It was starch raving mad. Got it, friends? Okay, so you're, you've got to be asking what's been happening these last two minutes. Well, these last two minutes that you can never get back, of course, they have been leading us to Brotato. And in all seriousness, if you enjoyed the mechanics, the progression system of vampire survivors, you really do need to check out Bro Potato. Let's see. I think we've got some music here. I've probably got it turned all the way down. Uh, so I thought the best way to show you this game, this game really speaks for itself. So um, I will say slight spoilers. This just like Vampire Sur Survivors, you open up more characters as you uh, get achievements and do certain things that are, uh, well, unless you search for them, secret to you as you begin playing the game, which is one of my favorite things about this type of game. So let's take a look at uh, just the first couple so you can get an idea. We have a well-rounded potato, right? This, this little tater is just very well-rounded. We have a brawler. So he's going to be better attack speed. He has um, a, a proclivity to using fist weapons, less range, less damage um, for ranged weapons. And we have a little bit of a crazy tater here, plus 100 range with precise weapons, plus 25 attack speed. You start with one knife, but you don't dodge very well. Engineering doesn't go well, and range damage doesn't go well. The other option, of course, is you can just randomize it. Um, so we'll do something weird here. Let's do a let's try a brawler build, okay? So we can start with either four brawler, we can start with fist or hand, and it looks like the damage is uh, is in the, the 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 difference is in the damage. However, hand does give you a little bit more harvesting, which is how much in, uh, how much materials you find, and a little bit more uh, knockback. But I think we will go with a fist build here. Ooh, uh, I guess I have played this tater before, and at least done enough to unlock the first danger one difficulty. But again, no spoilers here. I'm just going to show you the base game. Here we go. It's bro tato. Now, one thing I like about this game, even in comparison to Vampire Survivors, uh, obviously it doesn't take itself too serious, which, not, and I'm not saying Vampire Survivors did, um, but this is a, a, a very tongue-in-cheek game, very, very, you know, for what it is, I think very appropriately so. Um, and then the other thing I like is that these waves go by pretty quickly. And so you're constantly ending a wave, getting to choose new upgrades, things get a little harder and so forth and so forth. So it's like you either enjoy this or, you know, this loop or you don't. I actually love it. Okay, I think we want to do damage here. And if we can get another fist. Whoa, look at this claw tree. All right, let's think about what our character gets. Unarmed weapons. I, so that claw tree is not going to be an unarmed weapon. I've just never seen it before. All right, we're going to stay with fists, though. We now have three fists. Don't get caught up on how many hands you have in uh, IRL, right? Look at our three fists. We're ready now. All right. Another thing I like, not only is the, the sort of time that it takes to get through a wave... But also, the fact that whatever you don't pick up seems to come to you once the wave is over. So, like, we will still get all of those resources, even though we didn't collect them. Okay, so melee damage, that's what we want. 
I think we want melee damage for now. Some speed would be nice eventually. All right, so we have another chance to get uh, fists, but I want to show you something down here. We can actually combine two of our fists to make it into a, a, a blue. So we're going to do that. Uh, that gives us more damage. And then we're going to buy a second regular one and combine it. So now we have two fist twos. We still have 55, so we also need to look at these items. Hitting an enemy removes 10% of their speed. That could be good. Maybe we do that. So if it's like a, a bigger enemy or something, we hit them and they just slow down. All right, let's try that. Let's go wave three. All right, so we only have two fists, but they're much stronger now. Sorry about the, uh, the cringe-worthy start of this video. It's definitely not playing into my strength, but I mean, it's, it's, it's bro paid, bro, whatever it's called. I couldn't resist. Oh no. Oh, I thought we had just accidentally ended our run. Brotato. Um, okay. So we found an item. I don't know if you noticed the barrel we picked up, but it gives us plus one range damage, elemental damage, but minus three speed. We're going to recycle that. That does not play into our, our stuff at all. I actually don't know what luck does in this game, but you can tell by just scrolling over here to the side. I am playing this with a controller, by the way, which is to me just like feels good. I guess you probably can do it with mouse and keyboard, but I do like this on a controller. Oh, luck is pretty cool, actually. And we don't have, um, we don't have any speed. I'm tempted by lifesteal, but I think we'll do a little luck. It might give us better upgrades in the future. I guess we just keep purchasing fist for one thing, right? Uh, hey, HP regeneration could be good, but it takes away our luck. Oh, there's ma there's uh, melee damage. Even though it's a little less attack speed, I think that's totally wor worth it. Wow. Plus three max eight. Oh, okay, that's weird. All right, let's just go. Oh. What would be really cool if we could get some sort of, uh, oh, they both hit us with their ranged. Get some sort of like of elemental or some sort of explosion when we do punch something that could spread more to other enemies. That could be an interesting build. Because really, like, that's sort of the one, one of the more fun elements of this game is, oh, we're not going to make it to the other tree. Um, trees are where you sometimes get those squares. So we found a claw tree. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we also found dynamite, explosion damage. Sure, in case we ever get explosion damage. I don't know if we actually have that. Attack speed would be nice. Engineering, like if we put down a turret or something like that, it could be cool. We're not really dodging. Let's do attack speed. Ooh, melee damage again is definitely what we want. Oh, we can get another fist and upgrade it. All right, so at this point, I think we combine one of our twos into a three. So we have 107 left. Oh, such interesting decisions. Do we ever just like go pistol or something? I'd rather stay melee damage. Range damage is so bad. So yeah, to me, like a lot of the fun in this is just with the strengths and even weaknesses of some of the potato characters trying to figure out like a fun build so this one we're doing with with this potato is pretty obvious but some of them you can get pretty creative with um and i definitely didn't want to uh at least at this point in this first video do anything that would be less obvious so this again we're trying to stay out of spoiler territory as much as possible even in the even in the discovery of characters all right so we can get plus two armor that seems good that seems good okay what does a metal detector do i've actually not seen that there's another fist too we'll take that for sure but what is this uh, metal detector double the value of picked up materials six percent luck so if we end up getting oh there's a hand so we take that but if we end up getting um 
Oh, this would have been good too. What am I thinking? Because it actually is melee. I'm just getting it all. We're just going to go with it all. We are heavy into melee. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, goodness. I've got to readjust to the... Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here. We did get more luck, so hopefully we'll pick up some health. Unfortunately, this looks... Oh, there's a tree. I was going to say, it's looking like we might not get trees on this one, but... By the way, and I really meant to say this earlier, um, this game, I think, is $4 full price. We are so close to death right now. It is currently on sale if you're watching this video like in real time or soon after, then uh, it's on sale 20% off, so I think it's $3. But All right, we need the, we need the max hit points, I think. Um, there is another melee weapon, a couple of melee weapons. We could do knife. Uh, we could also do plus dodge, huh? Um, attack speed would help. I, I'm actually gonna go dodge. If, if it helps us take a little less damage, and we'll take that knife. Do we take the coffee as well? I'm drinking coffee, so let's take coffee. All right, let's see if we can not take quite so much damage. And as you would expect, there are, of course, some, like, crazy items and just, like, some broken combinations you can find in this game. Which, of, which again, is just part of the fun of this type of game. We really should do a deep dive in... Obviously, Vampire Survivors has had such a big impact on the uh, video game scene, especially like indie games like this one, would just love to know what Vampire Survivors was inspired by. Um, yeah, it should be really interesting. So range is really, I mean, it's a purple, right? It's eyes three. The max range of your weapons. It's only half as effective on, on, on melee weapons. So you'd kind of consider it like a 1.5 instead of a three. I think we take uh, melee damage here. Ooh, 25% damage against bosses and elites. That's really good. And we don't have anything else that's just... Wait, what? Burning spreads to additional nearby enemies. Wait, this is melee. And this is burning. Now we don't have enough. Do we ever sell something... It doesn't, we'd have to sell two things, right? Oh, well, we're going to pass on silver bullet, which I don't know is the right move, but to be able to like get some of that elemental stuff going, I think, and of course now we have elite enemies coming out. The, uh, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Spread some of that burning. So now we have a melee and burning build. Heavy into melee, but we're trying to keep the options open for doing a little bit with... Uh, so, I don't know if you just noticed, we just got an, an, an achievement in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. You could see it, then it popped up again on the left side of the screen. And that's the kind of thing that opens up new characters to try. I will tell you, this has been a bit of a rough map for me. I'm going to just try to, like, dig in there at the end. Um, yeah, we'll take explosive damage. We'll take melee damage, I think. Um, oh, my goodness. Handcuffs is really good. Except your max HP is capped. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we do leather vest instead. Yeah, I don't know. This might be the end. I'm not sure. We're on wave nine. I 
think it was important we got that torch because I don't know if the fire would be spreading without the initial source of fire. In some ways, this is actually going better than the last one did. And I don't know why. I think this would probably be a good build if we had picked up some of the leech. So like healing ourselves as we go, as we do damage, that could have been good. Um, so we'll take damage here. I mean, armor could be good, luck. I, just, I feel like we're a little late to be pressing into luck even more. So I think we're going to do harvesting. 35% more from recycled. That's not melee. That is melee. We'd have to get rid of something. Hmm. I actually like both of those two. So the weird thing here is I don't know that we can get both because we want to be able to upgrade. So you kind of always want one slot open at this point, I think. Um, I guess we could sell the torch at that point, especially since we're getting... Well, this isn't going to do burning, though. All right, we'll just do this one. I mean, we can always sell it later. We have plenty, right? So yet another weapon choice that leans a little bit into elemental damage which we just didn't do early in the run, so it's probably lagging pretty far behind in actual damage or usefulness. But, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if we make it past this, uh, this map and where it goes from here. That was kind of close. Sixteen harvesting, sure. All right, let's go attack speed. Damaged, eh. melee damage. A little muscly dude. We definitely want that. Do we do that? I mean, we've got a lot of attack speed. Are we okay with going a little bit less attack speed for the damage? I think so. Now let's let's re-roll. So it's 15 to re-roll. Ooh, yes. <laughs> that's that's actually what we wanted. Um Oh shoot, I didn't notice we could combine these. So silly. All right, we've got fist times four. All right, we're good. I wonder if we'll get trees here. We're taking a lot of hits. Um,
Yeah, we need some sort of speed or either pushback or something. Um, yeah, we'll take a medical turret. Okay, do we want regeneration or max hit points? Let's take regeneration, actually. All right, XP gain, melee damage, that could be good. We lose, we do lose, um, oh, a second one of these. I mean, that's obvious, right? Because then we can just combine them. Um, so I think the only other thing we might want is the belt. We've done this before. I don't love it again, though. All right, there's our medical thing, so. I think if we stay pretty close to it, it will um, offer us a little bit of healing. Plus, we're going to be slowly regenerating health. Maybe that'll be enough. Health regeneration, I think, is a stat that we could actually increase so that we actually potentially increase health at a faster rate. I was looking at our uh, experience bar on the upper left and thought that that was our health and I was like, man, we're still about to die, but nope. It's just because we had just leveled up, we were low on XP for the level. I'm almost, I mean, we're almost at the point damage wise that we could just about stay still. Killing a tree spawns a turret. That is, I love Pocket Factory. Anytime I get that, and there's some knockback, we'll take attack speed, of course, especially since it's three. And uh, we'll do max HP this time. So here we have another Ghost Flint. Oh, let's do this. Special enemies appear at the next wave. I don't even know what that'll be, so we'll be a little bit of a, a little bit of surprise here. Um, okay, unfortunately our flints are all at different levels. So this could be awkward. Um, do we take the wheelbarrow? I guess. Just lets us get more upgrades in the future. All right, this run has lasted way longer than I was expecting, but ooh, okay. We need to find our um, meta, oh, there it is. Oh, these are the special enemies, I guess? I actually, I forgot about the special enemies, but maybe those are them? There's a tree. If I can get to it, my goodness. So that should spawn a turret that will now do damage. And again, turret, I believe, is impacted by your engineering skill. So if we had leaned into engineering and found a way to get turrets sooner, then all of a sudden producing more turrets every time we down a tree would have been... Well, quite amazing. Okay, so scissors are... Um, we should do the garden just to help us heal. We're, we're having health problems right now. We don't want to do luck for HP. The scissors are interesting. Do we abandon... Do we abandon the torch for scissors? It's got a better chance of critical. It's good melee damage. And it has lifesteal. All right, we're getting just such good attack speed. So I think we unfortunately are going to get rid of that. Uh, let's re-roll one time. We've got so much. All right, so 3% damage at the end of the wave. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We've got plenty of money to spend. Oh, there's another scissors. We'll re-roll one more time. Oh, here we go. Melee, hammer three. All right, let's get rid of this. And pick up a hammer three. Um, sure, we'll just spend everything. I feel like we're getting really close to death here. So why not spend it all? All right, so this is a garden that we... One of our items. So we'll be able to get... Um, I think it was every 20 seconds it it grows a healing 
herb for us. Yeah, there it went again. All right, so we made some changes to our build, but I think it's actually pretty good. We just took so much damage there. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we're still alive. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, attack speed is not the problem at this point. Let's do dodge. Huh. A rock three, huh? Oh, there's another fist two. I actually kind of like the peaceful bee in the sense that it gives us dodge. I think we need more of that right now. Um, well, we could get rid of scissors already. Rock has some, um, Rock has some knockback, a little bit more than this, not much though. Less crit, but more damage. Let's just do it. This is probably the end anyway. Let's just see some more items here. I think I was correct that rock was uh, melee. You would almost think you would throw a rock, but maybe you just hold it. We want to try to take these stinking things out that run away from you and shoot at you. I think that's part of what was adding up last time. We had so many laser guys shooting us. And at some point you just got to push in, I guess. doing so much damage all right so let's go speed and engineering will help with the uh, turrets I guess tractor I don't know that we want to lead into tractor hmm oh, none of this is very good let's reroll Definitely turret. Speed is capped as its current value. Are we okay with that? We get HP regeneration, a lot of engineering, and range. Range doesn't matter, but we'll do that, and then we're good. All right, here's the new turret, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure we're not missing any trees occasionally, but we're getting to the point where this build has come together. We're so much stronger now. go dodge again uh, if I'm reading that correctly that actually hurts us mm. all 
right, we'll, we'll try scared sausage. So that's at least two, maybe three achievements we've had this run. We'll say some of these uh, enemy types are taking a lot more to get rid of now. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I've seen a. Uh, Oh, there's a tree. <coughs> I don't know why I'm sneezing all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. 12% life steal, 2% damage for every 1% life. All right, this could actually hurt us, but we're gonna try it. And This hurts some things, but helps a lot of other things. We're just gonna go for it. All right, so we're gonna be damaging ourselves now, but I think we can be gaining health back faster than we'll be losing it. I don't know, we'll see if that was a mistake or a good thing. If you're still with me at this point here at wave 18, which by the way, I think this maxes out at wave 20. Thank you for uh, being so patient and don't forget to mash potato that like button, all right? Don't forget. Oh, we are in a little bit of a desperate situation here. Okay, we made it. Uh, I do like the hit points, I think. Oh my goodness. Plus 2% luck for every 1% crit chance you have. So that's a huge amount of sudden luck. Um, and then mastery. Ooh, I like the cyber ball. We just don't have enough for it. I think mastery was the right choice for us. Oh, goodness. We are just, at this point, you know, I don't even really understand what's happening. Except we're not quite dying, and we'll take it. Plus three armor, plus five max X, X, uh, XP. We do lose a little speed. Uh, engineering for every one elemental damage you have. Melee damage, range damage, but it's just minus one. We'll take that for sure. Range damage, that doesn't make sense. Melee damage makes a lot of sense. Uh, do we want crit chance or max HP? Our crit chance right now is eight. It's very low. That does get to 17 though, but look at all of that XP. I think we'll go XP. Huh. Well, I am very tempted to re-roll. I like the alloy. Uh, it leads into, leans into some stuff, but it does take away our dodge. Although if we do these two together, we're still about even on dodge, which our dodge is pretty high. Uh, all right, I think this is the last run, so we might as well reel again. We have 150. 
Do we take cog? We are doing a lot of, yeah, let's do it. All right, go wave 20. Here we go, I think this is it. It's all over one way or another here, right? Oh yeah, this is the boss. Okay, uh, okay. Oh boy, we need to go heal. I'm not sure what's happening, but um, we would like some life back, please. Maybe we should try to keep him closer to okay we did not win folks well there you have it and then you get a nice summary of uh all the progression you made it looks like we unlocked four taters which i'm not going to go into the details of those because those would seem to be getting into um too much spoilery territory uh so let's return to the main menu you'll see now from the main menu of bro tato if you go to start a new run you will have all of your new potatoes available so um, that is Brotato. I really, my time so far has been very much enjoyable. Um, so I can't recommend it enough, especially if you liked Vampire Survivors. This gives me that same excited feel about discovering all of the unlocks. And also, I just find the gameplay loop, the waves, the amount of unlocks that you're choosing, the sync, the, the way that they work together. Uh, actually find it maybe even more compelling in some ways than Vampire Survivors. Although, obviously, this art aesthetic uh, is very different and very tongue-in-cheek and funny. Um, so that may not be as appealing to some people. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think to say that, um, you know, might be, uh, might be a little bit of a downer. So... I guess let me leave you with this. Why did the potato cross the road, friends? He crossed the road because he saw a fork up ahead.